We've brought you several stories of athletes that have overcome all kinds of challenges, be they physical or emotional, environmental or social. Out at Mills Godwin, one of their teams had their best season ever last year, and their best player was named a team captain as a sophomore, which ruffled a few feathers around the program. And that was almost before the coach knew everything else she was dealing with. Yes, go! You have to be up go. pretty early to be a part Good. of Mills Godwin's Good. field hockey right team. Head coach Emily McNamara has them at the field at 6.30 each morning, which for most teenagers is like the middle of the night. Just being on time was an issue at the beginning, but now they come 20 minutes early. And we just raised the bar, and so they, it's either meet the expectations or, you know, then they fall off the tracks, which of course we've lost some people in the last few years, but for the most part, the majority has bought into everything that we've thrown at them, and I think that they see results. Last year, the results were Godwin's first trip to the state tournament in school history, something on which they would love to improve this year. State was like an amazing opportunity that Godwin Field Hockey hasn't seen in like ever in their program. So I think just us getting there and just trying it out for the first time was amazing and we all really want to go back. At the center of their progress is senior Julia Mann. She has twice been voted first team all region and was Godwin's defensive player of the year. Not bad for someone who started out as a dancer and found one consistent aspect of each pursuit. Listening, like how you have to listen to the music and dance, listening to each other on the field because, you know, Field hockey is not a one-man sport. You have to, like, all together work together. Good. Listening. Way to yep. listen. That's Some good. kids have trouble with that because of a poor attitude or a short attention span. Julia works extra hard at it because she was born deaf and has worn cochlear implants almost her entire life. For me, like, what I hear is just, like, what I think the world sounds like. That's not to say Julia doesn't have to take certain precautions. When it rains, she has to cover her head almost immediately to protect the electronics. And because they have limitations, the team has developed hand symbols from the coaches to take the place of commands that used to be shouted across the field in the past. It's little things like that adjusting with her that you know has one made me a better person more understanding that you know not everybody has the same abilities but it doesn't matter if you can change things to make it work for everybody then you can see success and julia's success extends beyond her own team she has volunteered with special olympics and this past summer worked at a camp for younger children with hearing impairments becoming something of a mentor for those just starting out working with them was so fun because like i forget what I was like when I was young like that so getting back to go back and see them and like be like oh you guys are like you guys really are just normal children with a little extra special thing with you. Taking where everybody is at the highest level and she's up here because she has to work just that much harder she has to talk that much more she has to listen that much more the best she can so that's kind of what you know pulls her away from the rest of the pack for me. Julia has been a team captain now for three years. Pass it up top. She up continues top. to be an inspiration for opponents and teammates alike, something she does not take lightly. Keeping yourself like accountable, having your goals, and just keeping that respect and responsibility for everything. It doesn't matter about any disability. It does not matter about your age. It's the best leaders. And she was by far the easiest one out on the field that I could tell that people watch her and they want to be like her. And just that in itself, I mean, she doesn't have to say anything for that to be the truth. Julia was honored by the Richmond Sportsbackers this year in their All-Stars program for everything she's done both on and off the field. She will be attending Converse University in South Carolina next year to play field hockey, something she didn't think even would be possible a few months ago. Julia is considering studying deaf education to share what she's learned with the next generation. But before then, she and her teammates have some unfinished business in getting Godwin back to the state tournament this year. If you would like to nominate someone for us to profile, just email us at beyondtheroster at WTVR.com.